Okay, so before I start with the tea, I want to make something clear, okay? So, we got together, I don't even really know, 2020, 2021? I don't know. The point is, is that the majority of the relationship, we started out as best friends. And then the majority of the relationship, even though it was kind of not normal relationship, because it was me and Philip. Um, it was still good. He had issues. I had issues. But we were, um, it was always love-based there, okay? There was no kind of malice. We didn't do anything to hurt each other's feelings and all that stuff. On his end, um, he was, I had a lot of firsts with, with him. He was a very good, he was an excellent gentleman. Um, I don't think I ever had to walk to the car once. Like, he would bring me coffee to bed in the mornings every single day when I was up there or he was down here. Um, he bought me a lot of things. He spent money on me. Did y'all hear that? Is that a disembodied voice? And then, um, after a while in the relationship, I don't know how many of y'all have been here, but we had the whole issue about how I was triggering his... Um, I don't want to say it out loud. His issue, you know, and he didn't want to go back to that issue. Um, but I didn't catch the hints because of BPD. So he was giving hints and I wasn't catching them. And so finally he had to be blunt about it. And then I was like, no. And then it was really like, I don't want to let go. And and then some time went by, and then I apologized for how I behaved, and because I realized that I had been really selfish there, as I didn't understand the issue from his point of view. Anyway, so we, um, he wanted to be friends, and that was my best friend. So, um, I went and paid to get some therapy, because I'd never been friends with the next before. Uh, and we tried that, and I thought we were doing good, okay? And then... I made a video. Here's the video. It was from, I don't know, a few months ago. Here's the video. Now, in that video, I was grieving the loss of, I, you know, I thought he was going to be with me forever. That's what I was grieving. We were still friends, but I was grieving the loss of my life partner. Well, that is not the way that he took it at all. He was supposed to come down in a couple of days to help me rearrange my shop. And he took it as very personal and like I humiliated him on here and I didn't understand it, but Sometimes I don't understand it because of the BPD. So I took the video down and I apologized to him. And uh, it just got worse, okay? So that's what triggered the whole shitfall, okay? And I will answer the other questions after the video. Someone who knows exactly how websites work. Deleted my folder off of shared Vimeo account. The folder that contained all of my classes. <laughs> Have wiped my website. All my classes are gone. This person promised they wouldn't do that. And I made the mistake of believing them. If you can help, if you would go to my link tree, and the GoFundMe is right here. I wouldn't need your help if I hadn't spent my savings on 
and I haven't been able to work since about September because of that infection that I got in my lungs. If it was just me, it'd be fine, but if you've been with me long enough, you know I take care of myself, my kid, my mother, and partially my brother. If I can't fix this, there's not going to be any more witch foot. It's going to take everything that I have. I'm going to lose it all. Thank you. This message is for Jennifer. On January 22nd, I emailed you to let you know I was not going to be able to host your videos anymore. I asked you to log into Vimeo and download all of your videos so that you could put them somewhere else for your website. I texted you on both of your phones and you did not respond to me because I believe you blocked me on your phones. Both of them. On February 8th, out of the kindness of my motherfucking heart, I sat for a couple of hours and downloaded all of your videos and put them in a Google Drive and I emailed you the link to the Google Drive for you to download your videos. And I didn't hear from you. And because you won't communicate directly with me, your videos are all, all of your videos, all of your videos are sitting in my Google Drive waiting for you to download them. I wake up this morning with people coming after me because of something I did to this fucking woman? Why did not, why hasn't she texted me on the phone? On either phone, why didn't she respond to either of my emails? Go back over there and ask her why she's not actively communicating with me. But to get on TikTok and act like I'm a bad person because she woke up and her videos are not on her website is ridiculous. She's not acting like an adult. She's acting like a child. Because before she even made a video here on TikTok, she should have contacted me, which she did not. Me and Jennifer officially split ways in January of 2023. Yeah, we were in a relationship and we had a breakup and it was on TikTok bef like in, before that, like the previous year, s sometime in the fall of 2022. But I have continued to host her videos for a year. I have given her a year to find another place to host her videos. And I can't afford to host them anymore. I can't afford to financially support her anymore. So all of you motherfuckers can get off my dick. Any one of you motherfuckers that gave Jennifer twenty. She's made three thousand two hundred and fifty-seven dollars off of you, and it's a scam. She can host her own videos for two hundred dollars on Vimeo, and she knew that I was going to take down her videos because I hosted them for a year. Go watch my previous video. She waited for me to take down all of her videos so that she could run this. Scam. This is, this is premeditated. This is a joke. So if you gave her money because you think I'd done her wrong, bitches, go get her money back because this is Witchfoot at her finest. Everybody's so creative. This is my thing. I just wanted to show y'all something. See that little thing right there? That's there because I never attached my bank account to it, just in case something like this happens. So, if I'm able to get my videos from him, which I reached out to him, then all I do is I click this little line here, and I fill out that paper, and all y'all's donations go right back to you. Jennifer texted me at 2.03 p.m. today, while I was live, asking me, for her videos. She has had access to her videos for a week because I emailed her the link to download them. I sent you an email. All of the videos are in that folder. They've been there for a week, but you chose to scam people out of $3,000 instead of texting me. Why didn't you text me as soon as you knew your videos were down? 
why are you texting me now? These screenshots that I sent her prove, okay, that she's had access to her videos. Yet she chose to get on GoFundMe and say my online school was destroyed, blaming me for destroying her school. And all you crazy motherfuckers gave her $3,200. And she's asking for $8,000. It doesn't cost $8,000 to build a website. I spent $2,000 for her to have her own website independent of me. So I don't know what kind of borderline personality disorder thing is going on with her right now, but I want you motherfuckers to know I am not responsible for her videos. I hosted them for a year for free. I'm not responsible for her videos. She's had access to her videos and she could have contacted me before she took your money. So if you have given Witchfoot $3,000, go get your motherfucking money back and do not, uh, don't come for me because I ain't done anything wrong. All right, this is just proof to all of you that this is my Google Drive. Okay, it's Witchfoot's folder. These are all of her videos that have been sitting there for a week waiting for her to download them, okay, from her website. They were shared with her last week, and now they are shared with Uncle Birch. So either Witchfoot or Uncle Birch can come down, excuse me, download any of her videos. So if you gave her money, because she said I destroyed her website, which is a lie. Go get your motherfucking money back. I unblocked Witchfoot on here. She has access to all of her videos. She can go get them. Did you get your videos, Jennifer? Because I'm fucking pissed right now. And I would like a public apology from you. And I'd like you to explain to everybody in my live why you didn't text me when you realized that your videos were gone instead of making a video about me and taking $3,700 from your followers. Let's go ahead and talk about why did you tell everybody that you needed $8,000 because I destroyed your website. What the fuck is that? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? That you went to everyone else except me to find out where your videos were. Explain yourself. Because I just posted on TikTok. Oh, I, I just, get it out. You just defamed my name and stole people's money using me as a scapegoat. So I'm asking you to explain. I'm not mad. I need you to tell us what the fuck is up. And I need you to tell me that you got the videos. No, I just, this is, this is, if she's gonna bring this onto TikTok, I'm, then I'm gonna ask her. She's the person that brought this onto TikTok. So I'm asking her, do you have your videos? Have you downloaded your videos yet? You got the videos? Good. I never want to fuck. Okay, it's Witchfoot's folder. The yes, I got my video part before I blocked her. I just said I got the videos. All right, that's it. Goodbye, Jennifer Sands. I never want to see or hear from you ever again. having the balls. That woman has the balls to get on my live and tell me to get it out. Tell me that was tell me that wasn't abusive. Tell me that wasn't psychological abuse after what she did to me. You tell me who's being abusive over here. That was toxic and manipulative as fuck. And that everybody is the real Jennifer Sands.
and I can't afford to host them anymore. I can't afford to financially support her anymore. No, I am not responsible for her videos. I hosted them for a year for free. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? spent $2,000 for her to have her own website independent of me. Um, actually, you told me it was a thousand, okay, right here. And I paid you half on the 30th and the other half on the second. <laughs> after that video that I told you that set him off, then I didn't know who he was after that, okay? It wasn't Philip anymore. First of all, he's the one that went no contact first, okay? And then when he reached back out again, I'll just show you some clips. That's because I wouldn't answer the phone, okay? I wouldn't answer the phone to get cussed out because he was having an episode. So you can imagine what happened when I did answer the phone. Those clips were PG compared to what come out of their mouth and other emails that I have and uh, text messages, okay? Once somebody crosses that line with you, that is how you end up getting dead. So, you don't reach back out to them for any reason, okay? I, I would, no, that's, it's dangerous. You can't, I don't think y'all understand. This is, I just didn't, I didn't want to share this with anyone. But my website is not worth that showing up at my door you understand me? So after that, then I blocked on everything. Everything I blocked, okay? And so when you send me emails or text messages, I'm never going to get them. I'm never going to see them, okay? Because you threatened to come to my house. You were literally holding my website for ransom. And on top of that, you had already agreed to keep posting my videos. I, I paid you for it for a long time. Our Venmos were connected. You could have just picked the folder up and dropped it in my part of Venmo. And on top of that, I had only just got finished almost dying. So even if you just sent them, I'd have never seen them, you know because I just got finished not dying. Yeah, so between almost dying and blocking you because you threatened to show up on my doorstep. <laughs> this is my thing, I just wanted to show y'all something. See that little thing right there? That's there because I never attached my bank account to it, just in case. Something like this happens. So, if I'm able to get my videos from him, which I reached out to him, then all I do is I click this little line here, and I fill out that paper, and all y'all's donations go right back to you.
I, di I didn't ask for $8,000 to fix the website. I guess y'all are illiterate. I don't know. This is what I asked for and why I asked for it. And now here's the whole thing that was on the GoFundMe. Pause to read. Now, what I want to say, because I know somebody's going to get this to you, is that I don't understand why the fact that I do not talk shit about you is so hard for you to comprehend. You tell people that I'm manipulative, that I've said this, that I've said that. I literally don't talk shit about you. I don't really talk about you. But if I do... I never talk shit about you, dude, because that, whatever. I even still sent people to you if they wanted to see their spirit guides, because you have such a gift of sight. <laughs> yep. I get shit like this all the time, and then you'll take it down. Why would I do I can't even do witchcraft on you, dude. You were there when I got my hand in Eva. In the last 24 hours, you have insulted my child beyond belief. You've been transphobic to them. You made fun of their ADHD. You made fun of them because they can't drive. I mean, you called us both trailer park trash. Do all your people know that you have a daughter? She's almost grown. Hmm? Do they know that? Earlier in your life, you had the audacity to believe that I said something to anyone in the universe about Chris? Your best friend, Chris? I think I'd been home 24 hours before I turned around and flew back up to Boston so I could be with you during that time. This is what I figured out. You need me to be the villain. You need me to be the villain. I have no idea why. But you need me to be this horrible person that's just vicious to you. Thank you for my videos.